Today's video is brought to you in collaboration with Backswing.com, a golf publication offering insight from top pros for the game of golf. Visit Backswing.com today to help fix your game. How do I read the green? All right, so it's a fun question. I really enjoy this one. Um, but before we jump into that, all I want to talk about is the mindset of putting. I think we tend to overcomplicate both the stroke itself and the aspect of reading the green. And I think innately, we all have a, a, an awesome ability to kind of visualize this and figure it out. For most of us, we're actually pretty good innately at visualizing the curve this ball is going to take. So we want to take that and use it. And we really want to treat green reading and putting in general much like a basketball player shoots hoops, right? So a basketball player is not really thinking too much about the difference between a free throw and a three pointer. They're just looking at the basket and reacting to how far away from it they are. And they're going ahead and letting that thing fly. And I want us to kind of think the same way here. When you step up to a putt and you look at it, instinctually, you're gonna have an initial read. A lot of times your instincts are right. So go ahead and trust your instincts. Let's simplify the process of green reading. There is some science, there is some art that goes into it, which we're gonna talk about it, but let's not overthink this. We're gonna come up with a nice simple method today to help you read the greens. Hopefully it helps you, stay tuned. Okay, before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell for notifications so you can see more great videos just like this one. All right, so I always read the green from three different angles. Now this can be time consuming, so listen up. This is how you save time and don't hold your playing partners up. The first thing I do, whether I'm walking or if I'm in a cart, I walk straight to the hole. I leave my ball where it is when I get to the green. I'd like to see what it's doing from here first. And what I'm doing here is I'm turning the hole into the face of a clock. And I am trying to determine which part of the hole this ball should enter to give me the best chance to make the putt. So here we've got a little left to right putt. So I know the ball should be entering from the left side of the hole. Now we've got to figure out which part of that hole should we enter. So what we're really trying to find here is the front door of the putt. Where's the putt going to enter the hole once again? And some people are pretty good at just eyeballing that, but I like to take it one step farther and I'm going to try to find the high point and the low point that this ball could take to enter the hole. Now with this ball curling in from the left side, I think this ball could come around and enter as high as about 10 o'clock on the clock face before we run out of room on that hole. So just opposite side of the hole would be our low point that ball could enter the hole, which would be four o'clock here. So this ball is gonna enter the hole anywhere between four o'clock and 10 o'clock. Now here's why I do that. I will take those lines, four o'clock here, 10 o'clock here, and I will dissect them right in the middle over here. So we're actually looking at about seven o'clock for this ball to enter the hole. Now, not only do I want the ball to enter the hole at seven o'clock, if I drew a short straight line away from the hole, I want that ball coming into the hole at that direction as well. So I want the ball coming in from here entering the hole at about seven o'clock ideally. So again, I mentioned I like to read the putt from three different locations. So as I walk back to the hole, this is super important here, I'm gonna walk to the hole on the low side of the putt. A lot of amateurs will walk back on either side. I wanna walk back on the low side. So now my putt is facing me. So now I can read this putt like a book from over here. The hill is quite literally slanted towards me. It's facing me and I get a really nice view from the side angle of what this putt's doing. So I can really feel how it's breaking towards me. I can really feel that it's actually slightly uphill to the hole from here. All right, so I will stop about halfway back to the hole and I'm gonna create a triangle between me, my ball and the hole and just take a look at the putt from here, get a little extra read. So now we'll take our final read from behind the ball. And what I'm reading here, I'm remembering I want that ball to come into the hole at about seven o'clock. And now I'm starting to pr play process of elimination. So we want to find the direction we should be starting this ball to get it to come into the hole. So just based off of my initial read, I've created these two lines here. One points straight at the hole, 
one points well out to the left, and I know that my ball is going to start somewhere between these two lines. Now what I'm going to start to do is play process of elimination here. So I'm going to slowly start to narrow these two lines until I feel they're pointed in the right direction to get this ball started on the line that will have it coming in the hole at 7 o'clock. Now that's the key here. I'm trying to visualize a line that will have that ball coming in the hole at 7 o'clock. So now process of elimination. We know this line is too high and we know this line is too low so we're going to narrow them in some. Now I'm starting to see a track of that ball coming in at about 7 o'clock. Now a lot of people will try to be really really precise with this. Notice how wide my track is. If I get this ball started somewhere along that track and I put the right pace on it, I'm going to have a decent chance of making this putt. So this left line is still a little high, so I'm going to eliminate a little bit more of the left. And we're going to get this ball started in about this direction here. So just a reminder, I found the entry point of the hole. I read it again from the low side of the putt, halfway between the hole and the ball. I'm confirming my read from here, and now I'm playing process of elimination to find my start line for the putt. Now we're going to go ahead and start one out in this direction, and we're going to see what happens. Excellent read. So. I've hit it just a, a, a touch strong for that read, but I think overall it was a great read. I'd be happy with that putt nine times out of ten. So again, I think the moral of the story here is don't overthink this. Let's keep green reading simple. Let's keep putting simple. You know, putting's meant to be the easiest part of the game and we tend to overcomplicate it. Let's make sure we get back to the basics. We're hanging on to a few key points. Number one, I want to find where the ball should enter the hole. We do that first because the putt's gonna take more of its break at the end, so we need to figure out what's going on right around the hole before we can figure out the first half of the putt. So always figure out the whole side of the putt first, walk back on the low side, stop halfway, check whether or not you're uphill or downhill, then you can get a real good feel for how much that putt is sloping towards you. Come back and confirm your read from the ball, and at that point you're playing process of elimination. Where do I need to start this ball to get this putt to come in the hole at 7 o'clock? Start with a real big track like I did, and slowly narrow that track in. And your track doesn't have to be a really narrow line. It can be a bigger, wider line. And all that's important is that you're matching your speed to that line. So. Again, try to think about this more like a basketball player would once you step up over that putt. Take a look at the hole, take a look back to the ball, and just let that thing roll. Don't overthink your speed control. Just try to hit it the right speed to make the putt. So hopefully here you picked up a few keys on how to read the green, how to keep it simple, how to keep putting simple in general. Let me know in the comments below what you think, or let me know the way that you read the green down in the comments below. Be happy to take a look at that as well. I'm always open to new ideas. Thank you. Have a great day.